Morbius was originally going to release just a mere month after the release of Spider-Man No Way Home. After the huge success and the opening weekend for Spider-Man, Morbius was delayed twice, and of course we know that they did some last minute reshoots. There was many rumors that were running around about possible cameos of Andrew Garfield or even adding the film to the Sam Raimi universe that he established with the original trilogy. But now the director of the film talks about how exactly Spider-Man No Way Home and its huge success affected Morbius. So this comes directly from Daniel Espinazo, who of course is the director of Morbius. And he got to talk to Comic Book, and he talked a little bit about the success of Spider-Man No Way Home, and how that was a huge deal for everybody making anything related to Spider-Man or a Marvel film. And he talked about how the film went through multiple delays, of course talking about Morbius, and he gets right into all the rumors in regards to them changing aspects of the film to accommodate Spider-Man No Way Home, and while he doesn't go full on into talking about what exactly they reshot, he does say that it's one of these things where the success of Spider-Man No Way Home didn't really change much. And he says that from their perspective, they were making a film that exists in the multiverse, in a parallel universe, and that people hopefully understood this. And no, this isn't the Marvel Cinematic Universe it's necessarily a part of, but it's part of a bigger Spider-Verse that's also a part of the multiverse. And this is all kind of working in tandem with that. And he talks about how it was Avi Arad who was responsible for the Spider-Verse and everything that happens with Spider-Man. And he's also important to things that happen in Morbius. So he was kind of, I guess, the genius behind the idea. I'm using that word loosely. And he did again tease that this, as a parallel universe, does have Spider-Man in it. And Spider-Man could be a parallel Spider-Man or something completely different. They just don't know yet. So, again, um, they're playing very loose, and certainly the movie's playing loose with whatever it has as well. So it's interesting to see how their tone has changed. My guess is that Marvel Studios did put their foot down and go, hey, look, we're not going to work with you if you guys keep pulling this bullcrap. Pull all this from the film, but sure, keep it in the post and mid credit scene. And that's what they did. Because let's be real. If they weren't going to let Venom be a part of the MCU, the proper one, there was no way Morbius was going to be a part of it. That was just wasn't going to happen, especially with uh, the bad blood certain people at Marvel Studios have with Jared Leto. I think that was always kind of clear from the onset. 